Over the past two years, CBS News has done a series of stories on wealth in America, including the role of race. The typical black family has only a fraction of the wealth of the average white family, and many experts say real estate is the root of that problem. CBS News's Tony DeCopel goes back to the county where his grandfather bought a house in 1953, an investment that skyrocketed in value. Now we're sharing another experience, that of a black family, who are hoping to make a similar purchase in the same county. And what happened next? And that's the end of a fairly busy day on the New York Stock Exchange. 1964 was a record-breaking boom year for the U.S. economy, and CBS followed along as one young couple tried to buy their piece of it. His name is Corbett Rochelle. Since last July, he and his wife Sally have visited many real estate offices like this one. The Rochelles knew exactly what they wanted, a four-bedroom home in Bergen County, New Jersey, one of New York City's most desirable suburbs. And as it happens, the very same place where my grandfather had found a home just a decade earlier. The Rochelle search began in the usual way with the local newspaper. But as Corbett and Sally visited real estate offices and asked to see properties, they ran into a problem my grandfather did not. Well, uh, I have to call him and tell him that, uh, you know, that you are colored. As CBS documented in this rare hidden camera footage, the Rochelles were repeatedly turned away. So what do you have that you can show me today? Nothing in this uh, price range. Nothing at all. And in case there was any doubt about the exact nature of this problem, CBS cameras also documented what happened when white home buyers were sent in to ask about the very same properties. Let's take a ride. I'll take you over to one we have in development and show you that. What the Rochelles experienced was a practice known as steering, a way of excluding black buyers from white neighborhoods. Prior to the Fair Housing Act of 1968, it wasn't only common, but legal, and very often life-changing. So to find out what happened to the Rochelles and how it compared to the experience of families like my own, we tracked down Corbett and Sally's only child, Alicia, only 11 at the time, and asked her to rewatch that original report. Not wanted. It wasn't always easy. I've wondered often as I've gone from one real estate agency to the other, if uh, <clears throat> people realize the many embarrassing situations and questions that uh, you have to go through as a Negro, sometimes even humiliating. Do you recognize that expression on your father's face? Yeah, it's disgust. Yeah. Did he ever find the house? No. We moved out of uh, New Jersey. Your family spent at least six months and up to several years yeah. Oh, yeah. with plenty of money looking to buy a home in Bergen County, New Jersey mm -hmm. and never did. Nope. Nope, you sure didn't. What that means is the Rochelles missed out on one of the biggest real estate booms in the country. Home prices in Bergen County have jumped as much as sixfold, even after correcting for inflation. For families like mine, who were able to make the investment, that money has helped pay for everything, from my grandparents' retirement to Florida, to the travel I did as a college student. Push that top one over. For Alicia and her own three kids, that kind of generational cushion just was not available. There wasn't a whole lot planned for them. They had no insurance. It was, yeah. Did you say your parents died with no money? No money. No money? Mm-mm. Wow. And it's really sad, but, you know, it is what it is. What do you do with the fact that this house that they could not buy in Bergen County mm -hmm. is almost definitely worth three quarters of a million or even a million dollars today, and your family doesn't have it? because of nothing more than racism. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things that we haven't had because of racism. Yeah. The house is just a very small part of it. That's a lot of money, though. <laughs> it may be, but, you know, money's not everything. So when you think of this whole story, and you think of your folks here who had all the money they needed to buy a home in one of the hottest housing markets in the country and were denied only because of the color of their skin, what kind of story is this? 
I don't know. It's a story of our country.